percentage. We are moving to percentage. A number written in percentage will have the symbol of a percentage by side. If I write five percent, five percent means five over hundred. Now, if I say five percent over Let's say 20, 5% of 50. Look at this now. I want to interpret this. 5% of 50. It means 5, since 5% means 5 over 100. And in board mass of means what? Multiplication. So you can see this one has become this. Then. 50 over what? 1. That's 5 over 2 percent. Sorry, that's 5 over 2 rather, which is equal to 2.5. The meaning of this is that if we divide 50 into 100 equal portions, and we take five out of it, then that five we are taking out of the 100 portions will be 2.5. Yes, 2.5, yes. That means 5% of 50 is 2.5. So definitely, and with this, you can also use the approach of a proportion to do it but don't let us we have more to do on percentage now when and where do we use percentage as a matter of fact this is mostly used in tax yeah so we want to see and also we use it in uh, buying and selling profit and loss yeah we want to have a look at Questions on profit and loss. Profit is the same thing as gain. Let's take note of that. Now, we can't talk about profit and loss without talking about cost price and selling price because these are the two parameters that will lead us to either profit or a loss. When do we make profit? Profit is made when the selling price is higher than the cost price. Why loss is incurred when the selling price is lower than the cost price or the cost price is higher than selling price. Therefore, I want to write an expression that connects the three of them together. Cost price, selling price, and uh, gain. And as well, with loss. I will be using cost price. I will be using the shorting form C.P to represent cost price. Anytime you see C.P, it means in this, under this topic, it means cost price. Now, why this one will be S dot P. All right. Gain is equal to selling price minus cost price. Take note of that. Gain equals to selling price minus cost price. In terms of currency that the question is expressed in. So let me put Naira as a Nigerian. Pardon me. Yeah. 
a particular amount of gain in Naira will be calculated by using the selling price in Naira minus or minus cost price in Naira. That is, we are taking away cost price out of selling price. Whatever we have left is gain. What, well, if it's not a loss, what do you do? If you can see what I'm saying, you change the position of this because gain is the opposite of loss. And loss is the opposite of gain. So if gain is selling price minus cost price, then you interchange their position. That will not be cost price minus what? Selling price. Please take note of that. So meaning that you don't need to put these two formula in your brain. All you need to know is know that of gain. But have it at the back of your mind that when you want to express it in loss, you change their position. You swap them. And you say, cost price minus selling price. So that is one. In addition, you might be given your question in form of a, a percentage, as in the, the, the gain or the loss might be expressed in percentage. Percentage gain. If you want to find gain in percentage, how do you find it? That is this gain that is in Naira. I want to convert it to become percentage. How do I do it? It will be gain in Naira all over cost price in Naira times 100. Yeah. Take note of this. Gain in percentage is equal to gain in Naira over cost price in Naira. Please, I'm only using Naira. Being that is my, is what I'm used to. Is my, you know, um, is my currency. I'm so, so. It can be dollars, it can be euros, it can be CDs, it can be. So, now, if you look at this, you will see that it is over the cost price, not over the selling price. Please, because gain or loss is expressed as a percentage of the cost price. So that means if I want to write percentage loss now, that means this loss that is in Naira here that we got here, I want to convert it to percentage. You follow the same pattern here. That will not be what? Loss in Naira over loss in cost price times hundred uh, um, time uh, over cost price in Naira times hundred percent. So now. This is very important. Um, if now, or let me say you take note of this. If I want to express this in another form, it can be like this. That uh, percentage gain times cost price will give us what? Gain in Naira. These and these are the same thing. You know why? Whatever I want to. You'll see that 100% I wrote here. If you remember our, uh, what do we call it? Fraction. I said all percentage can be expressed, 100 can be 100 over what? 100. That means what you, what you have here is what? It's actually one. 
So that means this one is correct. So what you have here, if you now cross multiply, gain in Naira will be equal to this times this. So that's what I've just done. The same thing, loss. In percentage times cost price in Naira or in any currency you are given equals to loss in whatever currency you are given to. Now, why did I have to write it this way? This way is easier. Whenever you want to convert percentage gain or percentage loss to the currency given in the question. Why this one is easier to use when you want to convert whatever gain or loss in the currency you are given to percentage. So take note of this. This way, this format is to you is to convert naira or any currency you are given the gain or the loss in any currency you are given to percentage. Why this one will take you directly from percentage gain or loss to gain or loss in currency you are dealing with. Take note of that. Because this is the knowledge we need to understand everything that has to do with percentage. Let's have a look at one or two questions. An item is sold for 36 naira at a loss of 4%. Find the cost price. Let's analyze the question. An item is sold. That means this is this. We are talking about selling price. So the 36 naira we are given here is what? The selling price for the item. But at a loss of 4%. You can see now that the loss given here is expressed in what? Percentage, not in Naira. And you have to find the cost price. And don't forget, your cost price you are finding will be in what? In Naira. Because the selling price is in Naira. Now, the first thing now is, since it is about loss, the first thing you do is that I'm going to do it in two different ways. You now choose whichever way that you think is more convenient for you. General way, general method. Whatever you are looking for in mathematics, we call it an unknown. You can use a variable to represent it. So let x naira be the cost price. Okay. Let me start from here. Now, we, that means we are, we are no longer saying cost price, cost price. 
we will be referring to cost price as X Naira now. So, selling price is given to be 36 Naira. Loss. Percentage loss. Yes, we are given percentage because this is in percentage now. So, take note of that. Percentage loss is a four percent. So if you now 